In order to get the connect to go on the new map sensor, I'm gonna have to cut this little tab here on the edge and then we'll be able to plug it into the connector there. All right, so I shave that down so the connector will go over it. And I also cut that side off so that I won't have to modify the intake manifold. Yeah, now it fits in there snugly. It only fits in this position. So I think I'm gonna secure this by In order to fit this new sensor in like this, I do need to extend this a little bit because that's as far as it reaches. So I'm gonna peel this back a little bit and then cut the wires and I'm probably gonna extend it by a couple inches and then I'll have enough room for it to plug in on top here. I'm going to strip these wires and then add the extensions to this first. And then after these wires are extended, I'll solder that end on. the sleeves ready to go and I'm just gonna solder this end on now and then we'll be good to go. Okay now that I have the extension wired in I'm gonna plug it back into the stock sensor there and I'm gonna start it up just to make sure that the sensor is still working and everything. <laughs> shaved away the tab that was there. I'm going to be able to tune in the new map sensor now, so I'll be able to put this one in. There's the old one. I uh, extended the wire there as you can see. So I'm going to take the old one out. I already have the new one modified, so it will fit. Those are the injectors that are gonna be going in after. But I'm gonna put this map sensor in, get that tuned, make sure that's working. And then after that, then I'll be putting the injectors in. This is the regular one. It twists and the new one doesn't. I had to cut the edge here so it'll fit in place. There are adapters that you can buy, but I don't I don't see why you should spend a hundred dollars for an adapter. It does fit in good like that. And I'm gonna secure it right here on this tab. 
you don't just want to have it sitting and you want to have a bowl holding it or something holding it down so it doesn't pop out but anyway that's in place now and I extended the connector so it will now reach it there All right, so in order to run this, it's gonna need to be tuned to run off this map sensor. Uh, I'll start it up right now, just so we can see what happens if we don't tune it. All right, so the the new map sensor is in, but it's not tuned yet. So we're gonna see what happens if we don't tune the sensor. Running go with the new bath sensor in it, and it hasn't set any code. 